Okay, this is program number four in week nine. This one we are calculating average and standard deviation in a separate method. Uh, I'm going to show you two different ways to do this program. Number one is shown here in the, uh, in the PowerPoint. Now this one is pretty inconsistent with some of the other things we've been doing so far. So when I do my video here, I'm going to do it uh, a different way. I'm going to use a lot of the ways that we've been uh, doing the previous programs. So uh, let's get into that. So starting off, first couple things here. Get the size of an array from the user. We've done that a couple times already. Create that array and then populate that array. So we've done that several times already. So that's the first several lines of our code. Uh, and then we are going to call a method. Now this time we are passing two separate parameters to the method. So we're passing our array, which is what I'm calling numbers. And we're also passing the value of n, which is how many numbers are in the array. We're passing both of those things to the method because we need both of those things to do our further calculations. And we're just holding the screen. And then when we get into the method, this is where it gets interesting. So one thing you'll notice here you can collapse all these things, which if you have a big program is very handy because your entire method, you can actually hit the little plus sign and collapse it uh, so it makes it easier to read. Okay, if you have a lot of methods, this is one of the things with programming. If you have your main and then a lot of methods that are being called, you can condense things. So you can just, you don't need to look at all the code, just basically what the method calls are. So let's look at this. So we are going to, down here, I'm bringing in that double array of numbers and the integer value n. I'm bringing those in and I'm going to use those in my method. I'm going to set up some two new variables, the sum dev and sum av. And then in the PowerPoint, they are using uh, just some for loops to calculate the sums of things in an array. Now we've just gone through examples of using the for each method, the, or the for each process, I should say. I'm not going to use the word method. The for each command in that process for calculating the sum of an array. So why not? Why don't we just do that here as well? It's uh, quite a bit simpler. Uh, so we should just be able to say for each element in numbers. The average is just this, which is, that's basically the way we just did it in the books example. So we should be able to do that to calculate the sum of all of the elements in the array. And then to take the average, we sum everything up and divide it by how many elements there are. So AV is going to be a variable for our average. This should be the sum divided by the value of n. That should give us the average. Same thing with the standard deviation. If we look at this, let's take the element, all the elements in numbers. And then this formula here which is the sum of each element, but we're going to take it the element minus the average squared. So we're going to take all those, and then we're going to take that entire summation and divide it by n minus 1. Okay, and that's going to give you the standard deviation. And then at the end, we're just going to say the average is this, and the standard deviation is this, print that out to the screen. So let's see this go. How many numbers do you have? I'm going to say I got three numbers. I have a one, I've got a four, I've got a five. My average is 3.333. Standard deviation is 2.08 something. Okay, uh, that is it for program number four in week nine.